Hi, SIS. I'm Miss Madsen. I'm a fifth grade AVID teacher, and I'm so excited to be reading Wonder with you tonight. We are on page 73, and the title of this chapter is Costumes. For me, Halloween is the best holiday in the world. It even beats Christmas. I get to dress up in a costume. I get to wear a mask. I get to go around like every other kid with a mask, and nobody thinks I look weird. Nobody takes a second look. Nobody notices me. Nobody knows me. I wish every day could be Halloween. We could all wear masks all the time. Then we could walk around and get to know each other before we got to see what we looked like under the masks. When I was little, I used to wear an astronaut helmet everywhere I went, to the playground, to the supermarket, to pick Via up from school, even in the middle of summer, though it was so hot my face would use sweat. I think I wore it for a couple of years, but I had to stop wearing it when I had my eye surgery. I was about seven, I think. And then we couldn't find the helmet after that. Mom looked everywhere for it. She figured that it probably ended up in Grand's attic, and she kept meaning to look for it, but by then, I had gotten used to not wearing it. I have pictures of me in my Halloween costumes. My first Halloween, I was a pumpkin. My second, I was Tigger. My third, I was Peter Pan, and my dad dressed up as Captain Hook. My fourth, I was Captain Hook, and my dad dressed up as Peter Pan. My fifth, I was an astronaut. My sixth, I was Obi-Wan Kenobi. My seventh, I was a clone trooper. My eighth, I was Darth Vader. My ninth, I was a bleeding scream, the one that has fake blood oozing out over the skull mask. This year, I'm going to be Boba Fett. Not Boba Fett the kid in Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, but Boba Fett the man from Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Mom searched everywhere for a costume, but couldn't find one in my size. So she bought me a Django Fett costume, since Django was Boba's dad and wore the same armor, and then painted the armor green. She did some other stuff to it to make it look worn, too. Anyway, it looks totally real. Mom's good at costumes. In Homeroom, we all talked about what we were going to be for Halloween. Charlotte was going to be Armani from Harry Potter. Jack was going to be going as Wolfman. I heard that Julian was going as Django Fett, which was a weird coincidence. I don't think he liked hearing that I was going as Boba Fett. On the morning of Halloween, Via had this big crying meltdown about something. Via's always been so calm and cool, but this year she's had a couple of these kinds of fits. Dad was late for work and was like, Via, let's go, let's go. Usually Dad's super patient about things, but not when it comes to his being late for work. And his yelling just stressed out Via even more and she started crying louder. So mom told dad to take me to school and that she would deal with Via. Then mom kissed me goodbye quickly before I even put on my costume and disappeared into Via's room. Augie, let's go now, said dad. I have a meeting I can't be late for. I haven't even put on my costume yet. Well, so put it on already. Five minutes, I'll meet you outside. I rushed to my room and started to put on the Boba Fett costume. But all of a sudden, I didn't feel like wearing it. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because it had all these belts that needed to be tightened and I needed someone's help to put it on. Or maybe it was because it still smelled a little like paint. All I knew was that it was a lot of work to put that costume on and Dad was waiting and would get super impatient if I made him late. So at the last minute, I threw on the Bleeding Scream costume from last year. It was such an easy costume. Just a long black robe and a big white mask. I yelled goodbye from the door on my way out, but Mom didn't hear me. I thought you were going as Django Fett, said Dad when I went outside. A Boba Fett. Whatever, said Dad. This is a better costume anyway. Yeah, it's cool, I answered. <clears throat> Page 76. The next chapter is The Bleeding Scream. Walking through the halls that morning on my way to the lockers was, I have to say, absolutely awesome. Everything was so different now. I was different. Where I usually walked with my head down, trying to avoid being seen, today I walked with my head up, looking around. I wanted to be seen. 
One kid wearing the same exact costume as mine, long white skull face oozing fake red blood, high-fived me as we passed each other on the stairs. I have no idea who he was, and he had no idea who I was. And I wondered for a second if he would have ever done that if he'd known it was me under the mask. I was starting to think this was going to go down as one of the most awesome days in the history of my life. But then I got to homeroom. The first costume I saw as I walked inside the door was Darth Sidious. It had one of those rubber masks that are so realistic with a big black hood over the head and a long black robe. I knew right away it was Julian, of course. He must have changed his costume at the last minute because he thought I was coming as Django Fett. He was talking to two mummies, who must have been Miles and Henry, and they were all kinds of looking at the door like they were waiting for someone to come through it. I knew it wasn't a bleeding scream that they were looking for. It was Boba Fett. I was going to go and sit at my usual desk, but for some reason, and I don't know why, I found myself walking over to a desk near them, and I could hear them talking. One of the mummies was saying, It really does look like him. Like this part especially, answered Julian's voice. He put his fingers on the cheeks and eyes of his Darth Sidious mask. Actually, said the mummy, what he really looks like is one of those shrunken heads. Have you ever seen those? He looks exactly like that. I think he looks like an orc. Oh, yeah. If I looked like that, said the Julian voice, kind of laughing, I swear to God I'd put a hood over my face every day. I've thought about this a lot, said the second mummy, sounding serious. And I really think, if I looked like him, seriously, I think that I'd kill myself. You would not, answered Darth Sidious. Yeah, for real, instead of the same mummy, insisted the same money. I can't imagine looking in the mirror every day and seeing myself like that. It would be too awful and getting stared at all the time. Well, then why do you hang out with him so much? asked Darth Sidious. I don't know, answered the mummy. Tushman asked me to hang out with him at the beginning of the year, and he must have told all the teachers to put us next to each other in all of our classes or something. The mummy shrugged. I knew the shrug, of course. I knew the voice. I knew I wanted to run out of the class right then and there, but I stood where I was and listened to Jack Will finish what he was saying. I mean, the thing is... He always follows me around. What am I supposed to do? Just ditch him, said Julian. I don't know what Jack answered because I walked out of the class without anyone knowing I'd ever been there. My face felt like it was on fire while I walked back down the stairs. I was sweating under my costume, and I started crying. I couldn't keep it from happening. The tears were so thick in my eyes I could barely see, but I couldn't wipe them through the mask as I walked. I was looking for a little tiny spot to disappear into. I wanted a hole I could fall inside of, a little black hole that would eat me up.